Hey, it's Chuck Karstensen, Remax Results, and another video. This is my second video, video number two in my For Sale by Owners series about common mistakes for sale by owners make. So you could be watching this on Facebook Live or watching the recording, or we put these on YouTube, and that's where most people are probably going to catch these over the course of the next couple of years, searching how to sell their home for sale by owner, and this will pop up. So in my first for sale by owner video, you're gonna wanna find that on YouTube. Chuck Karstensen is the search for my YouTube videos. And on that one, I talked about not allowing showings, not making a lot of time slots open for showings. That's a very common mistake of for sale by owners. Probably the next most common mistake but uh, I think that's obviously very big with for sale by owners is not working with real estate agents. Now you might be saying, oh, wait, that's the point. For sale by owners don't wanna work with real estate agents, otherwise they'd list it. Yes, I get that part of it. What I'm meaning is actually working with the buyer agent, bringing the buyer to the for sale by owner. I totally understand and respect the fact that some people wanna try for sale by owner and therefore they're not listing it with the agent. So that's not what this video is about. It's about, hey, the fact that about 80 to 90% of buyers are working with a realtor and say we're out there showing them houses and you know taking them through the, all the houses and their search criteria and all of a sudden a for sale by owner listing is in that search criteria. But hold on, say I call it, or maybe the buyer finds it and one of us call it, but the for sale by owner doesn't wanna work with an agent. So what do you do? Well, A, one of the reasons a for sale by owner doesn't wanna work with an agent, they don't wanna pay a commission. You may know this, you may not know this. If you bought a house before, you've probably seen the numbers. A commission typically to a buyer's agent, on average is 2.7%. We see them at 2.5, at 3%, somewhere in between there. So. The for sale by owners saying, you know what, I don't want to pay the listing fee, but I also don't want to pay that buyer agent fee, which, you know, a lot of listing commissions are 6%. It's half, basically half off right there. Um, so what happens then? Then, uh, you know, could the buyer go look at the house and buy it without the agent? Well, if you're under contract, probably not. And I'll see most buyers don't actually walk away from their agents. They know they put some time and effort in. There's more than just opening the doors to the houses. So for for sale by owners, the lesson for you is if you eliminate that 80 or 90% of people that I just mentioned that are working with an agent, which, which like I said, you almost eliminate them all, that's a lot of your market right there. Those are the hot active buyers, right? So that's why it's a mistake because you're just eliminating that 80 or 90%. Then to go back to the question I was about to answer, well, what do you do? Could we as the agent and say you as the buyer go to the for sale by owner, write the contract and still negotiate that commission? You could do that. And a lot of times it works. So as a buyer, this is the lesson on the buyer side, don't totally rule it out, but it just makes it tougher. That price they have probably on that listing isn't an aggressive price anyway, so you need to negotiate the price anyway. That's why you need a realtor. And that's what the benefit of working with a realtor to buy the for sale by owner. And that's why, again, it's another part of the mistake of the for sale by owner. The buyers often want the realtor who's experienced, who's helped, you know, helped them in the past and helping negotiate the contract. It just makes for a smoother transaction. So you eliminate that percentage. And then as far as the percentage of people working with the agent, and then even if we do bring the buyer, um, if you're not gonna be flexible because you need the price, it makes it hard to get a deal done. So it's a common mistake that I see a lot, but also just so you know, if you're watching this because you wanna be a for sale by owner or currently a for sale by owner, or if you're a buyer looking at for sale by owners online, there are a lot of them that will actually offer that 3% commission. And those are the ones that normally sell. So if you are a for sale by owner, do offer a buyer agent commission to get your home sold because really the ones that sell most of them are those that are offering that so why have 80 to 90 percent of your people eliminated by not working with agents if you're going to go at it for sale by owner you do want to offer that commission i stated a little bit earlier to the buyer's agent because most of the buyers are working with them 
And if somebody comes with you without an agent, then you can figure out any way you want and negotiate it that way. But understand nowadays, most buyers do want to work with an agent. And uh, that's kind of the moral of the story here. So that's a for sale by owner mistake. And also obviously a tip and also a little bit of understanding for both a buyer and a potential for sale by owner. Now, when you're watching this video, whether it's live or on the recorder or on YouTube, if you have more questions, we're gonna have a series of these for sale by owner videos. This is number two. You can always reach out to us, uh, Carstensen team. You can message us, reach out to us through our Facebook or obviously message us through YouTube. So thanks for watching. Have a blessed day and we'll talk to you soon.